What's going on guys? It's your boy Sasuke with a video here today. I bring us a brand new video. I just finished recording it. I, I <laughs> it's super dope. It's so easy. It literally will actually take you a minute, but the video is longer because I wanted to show you guys more things. Um, I hope you guys enjoy it. In the description down below, I have a few things, some gradients, as well as a cool text effect to use in today's video. That'll help you guys and assist you guys and actually do it yourselves. But if you guys love, so I'm gonna call it like something like a 2020 abstract, uh, what is it starburst effect something like that something like really cool um that we just wanted to really elevate i wanted to elevate the idea of the starburst effect you look at it you think it, it looks kind of like tacky almost like cartoony too like comic booky but this time it's super abstract fun and it just like reeks dope so i hope you guys do enjoy today's video with that being said i'll talk to you guys later of course leave a like in the video if you guys do like it and comment down anything like, bleh, comment down anything you'd like me to see you like to see on the channel that's it i'm gonna leave peace <laughs> enjoy all right, so we're gonna get this going right here, right now. So I do have my example right in front of me. And if you guys were to ever notice or wonder what my bench uh, dimension sizes are, it is 3000 by 1000 at 300 resolution. Um, so that's the Twitter header size. Doesn't really matter about these backgrounds. You can do any size you want. I just like to use this for an, like a demonstration purpose. Okay, so the cool thing is the first thing you need is basically any background ever. It could be what's on your monitor now. Well, let me rephrase that. So I have my other monitor over here is I just typed in abstract background. Okay, so with this, basically you want to be looking for a, a, a lot of different colors, a lot of different values of kind of balance, sorry, not balances. I was gonna say brightnesses. There we go of like different colors. And uh, so I like this one right here for me, right? You can literally do anything. You can take a background picture of like Call of Duty, in, for example, and then use the same exact effect on it. It'll it'll work obviously the same way, but no matter what, the cool thing is every picture you end up choosing and doing, it gives you a different look every single time. So that's kind of like the whole premise of the one minute banner designs is it might take you one minute, but it's also super cool. So I'm gonna go and take this one right here. I'm gonna copy this image, drag this baby inside over here, right? Now I'm gonna just hide this example portion here, move that up there, right? So you can see the size of the actual image does not matter whatsoever. As you can see, it's super, super small, but what we're gonna do is I'm gonna make it bigger, of course, by control uh, T to free transform, and then I'm hold it Alt, take one of these anchors over here and just move it just like so, big enough to, of course, fit the actual canvas itself. So now that I have this, what I'm gonna end up doing now is I wanna go to where it says filter, distort, and pinch. So. By default, your pinch will be an amount at 50. You wanna basically put it up to 100%. When you put it up to 100%, you press OK, and you'll notice it'll do this very simple little pinch going inward toward the middle of your actual canvas. So, obviously, this is not good enough. We want it to look cool. So, we're gonna just basically spam it by pressing Control, Alt, and F. So over here, you can see this says pinch, control, all, and F means this is the key, uh, this is the last filter you use, the last filter you end up using with also the actual keybind to keep doing it over and over again. So if I hold control, alt, F, and spam that over and over and over again, you guys will notice, right? You can kind of see this really cool starburst effect trying to happen or more just like really, it's just pinching in the middle. But of course you have the outside area that doesn't really get affected. So we're gonna press control T to free transform again, right? Take this and zoom it in or make it bigger, the actual image bigger, but realistically you're almost like zooming in the actual picture and make sure all the outside edges no longer have that weird sort of like non-affected area, right? So I move it, boom, I'll spam it a few more times. You can notice that the quality is really, really bad. So if you just press the actual filter again, which is Control Alt F, right? You'll notice if you press press a few more times, it's basically readjusting or re, of course, doing the same effect. So it's kind of smoothing it out the more you actually end up pressing it. So that's why the quality doesn't matter whatsoever. And then you guys have here is this really cool ratio. We of course still move it around as well. So you made the actual image bigger. Um, it, I, is, are you, are, do, do you not, I just, I love this kind of stuff. It's just something really random and fun. So of course I like to just kind of push it a little bit more further and do a few more things. So one thing I actually ended up doing is I'm gonna make a duplicate of this by pressing control, uh, excuse me, control and J on my keyboard. And I'm actually gonna take a rectangle marquee tool, highlight the top left, go all the way down to the bottom right. That'll highlight my entire canvas. Then I'll right click layer via copy, right? Or layer via cut copy, whichever one doesn't really matter, but just wanna have just all the, just only the ratio of the canvas in frame, right? You don't want it to be like this, or if I press Control T down here, which is the original one, you can see that it's all the way over here. So just to make sure it's this one where it's only cut right in the frame. So now that I have this, I can take Filter, Filter Gallery, and I'm gonna go ahead and go to where it says Artistic, and I'm gonna go where it says Cut Out, and you can see this really cool little idea that happens here is, excuse me, if I just use Number of Levels, Edge simplicity and edge uh, fidelity. Yeah, I think that's the word. I, I don't know. Um, so eight, eight, two is my default settings. Of course, 
Do not be afraid to change this. Right here, this looks kind of cool, but let's see what happens if I move this up to like 10. Okay, nine looks pretty cool here. If I move this, if I, I think the number of levels definitely needs to be at eight. The more levels I think, the better. But of course, if you move this down, you can see some more different kind of shapes almost happening. It almost just kind of feels very like cartoony, almost like Fortnite-y in a way. Uh, I get a little bit of Valorant vibes for some reason as well with these sharp kind of corners and edges. But overall, the actual idea is pretty dope. I think that's pretty good right there. If I move this up, I don't like that. I like two. I'm going to press OK. You can notice the Starburst effect now just kind of looks a little bit more cleaner, just almost like more original in the, as uh, the aspect, just being like a zoomed in image, right? So what I, of course, like to do as well is put in a gradient map. So in the description down below, I will have an actual gradient map package that I basically made specifically for this kind of stuff to really help you out with like, I guess, making gradients because I, like, I know a lot of you guys don't really know how to mess with the levels and shadows and highlights and understand like the difference between midpoints things like that but i wanted to go ahead and go through this one like if i just click on this right you can just see the different kind of really cool values you can get like look at like okay you're gonna tell me that if like i just change this up a little bit right you can just get some really cool just it's dope i think it's freaking cool as hell i'm not gonna lie um you have some like this like come on you're gonna sit here and tell me that it's not cool it's just so quick super super dope it's almost like a uh, that's the name of the video i i'm recording this before the intro the name of the video is gonna be 2020 starburst something like that it's gonna be like the new starburst effect because it's it literally a starburst kind of effect but it's just made cool i think in my opinion i think it's pretty dope i can't lie so i'm gonna just go ahead and just kind of type something in for you guys minute right it's getting a little example Right, let's type in minute as usual, the minute banner design series. Right, we'll take this, make this a little bit more bigger. Right, also have a cool little sort of like text effect that I use for this. I'll also throw that in the actual description for you guys as well. Um, looks like, <laughs> yep, I like it. I can't lie. Boom, right? And then of course, if you guys wanted to go ahead and do even a little bit more, um, what I would actually probably refer to you guys to do is press Control, Alt, Shift, and E. That'll merge every single layer that you have in the actual canvas together in one single layer, right? I'm gonna right click, convert to smart object, and then I'm gonna go to filter, camera raw filter, right? Then in here, I'm gonna press the Y down here. My camera raw filter is different than yours if you have the 2020 version. I have not updated on this computer, but I'm thinking gonna do it by next video because I've been using it on my old laptop or my laptop that I have when I was in L uh, New York, so. I've been used to it now. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to the hue, saturation, luminance adjustments. We're gonna go to saturation. And I'm just gonna go in here and kind of just fix the saturations values a little bit more. Take the luminance, you can throw this up if you want it to be a little more brighter, right? Throw the saturation up or down if you guys want to as well. I mean, you can complete, completely take out a color and just make these really cool sort of like, you can also do this in the gradient itself, but if you guys want to go ahead and do it in post or afterwards, and you just get this really freaking dope values. Of course, you can just lower this down as well. <clears throat> make this even a little bit higher if you want to as well, but you can just see, it's just endless possibilities. Really, I, I hope you guys see the potential in this. You're gonna be seeing me use it a lot more and I think I'm gonna be using it in thumbnails sometimes. Um, just cause I think it's super freaking dope. And you can't argue the fact that it doesn't look freaking super sick. So that's it. It's super, super easy to do. You can literally just do it in like literally a minute. This is one of those that definitely take a minute. I'm gonna take this one right here. Let's just do another random picture, right? Boom, I'm gonna just drag this below here though. Just like that, right? All right, I'm gonna make this bigger, right? That's what we did. Now, this doesn't have too many colors. Let's just see what happens, right? Let's go to filter, distort, pinch. Nope, that's display. Filter, distort, pinch, right? Press enter, control, alt, F, spam it. Then we'll take it, make it bigger, right? I mean, what? Okay, right? That looks pretty good. I wanna make it a little bit bigger so I can actually move it a little bit more off the edge. Right, okay, let's move it like right here. I mean, it's so simple to do, it's so easy, so like pointless and mindless, but it just makes sense. I don't know, it's like, I think that's art, I think that's art, but like, tell me I'm wrong, okay? So with that being said, that's the end of the video here today, it's so simple. But I, it literally takes a minute this time, but I made the video longer on purpose. That way I can show you guys some different things and ideas. So with that being said, I love you guys. I'll talk to you guys later. Seso HQ out. Do not forget to keep smiling, stay positive, and stay freaking better, guys. Later. Much love. Peace. I also have some incredible video ideas coming soon, more entertainment-based. So I hope you guys do love those. Um, but yeah, I'm not going to hold you guys any longer. I love you guys.